Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to show you how to install JDelore. It's a downloader that you can use using Docker. And you can actually use something like a Raspberry Pi where you can actually download very large files and using but using the actual Raspberry Pi, you don't pay a lot of money for your electricity. So if you need a low powered computer using a Raspberry Pi, you can download JDelore for Docker. And in that way, you can have a file manager where you can download all kinds of files. So without any delay, let's show you how to install it. I'm going to use Portainer. I'm going to leave all the information in the description below where you can find your code for Portainer. Again, you can use any other method as well. You can find all the methods here on the GitHub page for Jane the Loader 2. Right? You can use the Docker Compose if you wanted to. Or you can use Portainer like I do. Alright, so without any delay, I went to stack, add a new stack, and what I done, I just pasted the information in the editor. When everything was done, I pressed create container. In this case here, it will be updated because it's already created the stack. Alright, that's all you gotta do and wait. When that has been done, you will see in the container, your container running and the port used. Once you click on the port, you are up and running. And as you can see, it's just like any other files. For example, here I use the image downloader, for example, and you can download any kind of fi uh, files. There are many other ways to download uh, file managers, but you have to have your computer always on. In this case, you can have this, and you can install it really in many other places, where you can get free access with low uh, level, for example, uh, server. You can use, uh, for example, Amazon to do that. In this case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi. And once that's been done, as you can see, it's up and running. All you go to then just grab links and start to download. That's as simple as it is. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm going to go to Docker. I'm going to click download Docker. See if I can get the actual, let's go back. I would like to get the file link. Let's copy that one here, go here, and I'm going to add a new link. Right, so after a certain amount of fiddling, I found out that I wasn't doing something wrong with my mouse. It looks like I couldn't paste it. So technically, guys, say for example, I want to download one of these videos. I go on the video I want to download. I right click and I copy the link in class or I can go inside choose the size I want and then I copy the link address once I go here I got to go to libgrabber and if I go here for example and I'm gonna paste my link there right click and I'm gonna paste the actual link and there we go guys as you can see the two have been downloaded. So that's how simple it is, and you can download as many files as you want. It's very simple. Again, guys, it runs on the Raspberry Pi. Don't forget to add a, an extra external hard drive if you need big spaces, because otherwise you'll be limited on the SD card. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and share. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and click on the bell icon. And I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.